Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to continue the VICE tutorial. In fact, we're going to build our first assembly. To do so, I'm going to go to my Project Manager, and I'm going to select my Assemblies folder. Please note that this project contains some predefined folders. You can always add your own folders just by right mouse button clicking and choosing Folder. It's just like working in Windows Explorer. So let's right click on the Assemblies folder and choose Assembly. Here the assembly has been created and it's asking for a name. Let's call this Vice. From here, we're going to add our first component. But before I do, I just want to go over a little bit more of Top Solid 7's interface with you. Real fast, if we look up here in the left, we see tabs. This is because I left the base part open that we designed in the first step of this tutorial. We can also go back to the start page if we want. This is just to show you that you can work between multiple documents. So let's add the base. Here to add the base I'm going to go to my parts folder and if the base isn't showing I'll hit the little plus sign there to expand it. I'm going to grab my base with my left mouse button and drag and drop it into my assembly. That's it. We've now included our first part. Next what we're going to do is start adding some other parts. Now in the finish directory are all the rest of the parts that go with this folder including another copy of the base model. This was just here for reference sake. Let's rotate our view, and I want to make sure that I have this option turned on, including last positioning. And I'm going to grab my thread rod and drag and drop it into my assembly. From here, we're going to go to the Assembly tab and choose Constraint. And the Constraint function tries to automatically determine the type of assembly constraint you're trying to add based on how you select things. For example, I'll select this cylinder and I'll zoom up and put it to this cylinder. And like that, the software has automatically created an axis on axis mate. If it's going the wrong direction, you can just double click on the icon right there and it will invert that mate. Pretty cool, huh? Let's flip it back. From there, we're going to go ahead and apply another constraint from that planar face to this planar face. And that did a plane on plane constraint. And what we're going to do next is add an offset. How about 25 millimeters? And like that, it's sticking out 25 millimeters from the face of the model. And what's really cool here is we applied that offset without having to go find a special function to do so. Next, we're going to add the wheel to the design. So I'm just going to go right here back to my design tree and drag and drop the wheel and put it in our design. I'll go ahead and go back to constraint and I'm going to add a constraint between this cylinder to this cylinder and please note that at any time if you left click and grab you can move this component and notice it's maintaining that axis on axis constraint and from there maybe we want to grab that planar face in there and set it to this planar face here and finally that front face to that front face and now you can see if you grab it, you can rotate and this assembly constraint is being maintained. In fact, we can even exit out of positioning. And once we're out of positioning, you can still grab it and spin it and you can see the assembly mates are being maintained. Okay, let's add the sliding jaw. So we'll drag and drop that in and automatically we're back into our positioning. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this axis, oops, we need to go back to constraint, take this cylinder to the cylinder there, and then I'll rotate this and grab this plane to this plane. And as you can see now, our sliding jaw is now constrained to our vise correctly. At this point, you can click on the positioning tab to exit out of positioning. And as, I, as we did before, if you left click and grab, you can test parts of your design so far. At this point, you're done building the bottom-up assembly. The next video will talk about editing a part inside of the assembly. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and were able to learn how to build basic assemblies within Top Solid 7.